Here in the studio, Hamilton County is now ground zero for deaths involving the drug fentanyl, often mixed with heroin and given to unsuspecting users. But there's a new program to, in place to prevent prisoners from using again once they're released. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has what's being done. When people on drug charges are released from the Hamilton County Justice Center, there is always the fear that they're going to go back to their old ways. But now Sheriff Jim Neal and Coroner Dr. Lashmi Samarco are trying to change the outcome with a new video for inmates. If you are a heroin addict and serve time in the Hamilton County Justice Center, you have detoxed. So take this opportunity to stay clean. But if you do make the choice to go back to using drugs, remember that your tolerance level is low. It won't take too much to put you in the county morgue. Dr. Samarco says it's a warning that members of the Hamilton County Heroin Task Force hope will stick. So far, it appears to be working. We haven't, fortunately, knock on wood, had any, um, had any deaths from people that have been recently released. That comes as new data shows the number of fentanyl-involved deaths in 2015 jumped 153 percent over 2014. At the same time, the number of heroin-involved deaths actually fell. These are more than just numbers. These are people. That's the feeling Chief Tom Sinan says drives task force members to try anything that might help stop the addiction epidemic. Dr. Samarco says deaths range in age from 16 to 62 and cover all backgrounds. It's CEOs, it's Major League Baseball players, former Major League Baseball players. Um, it's, you know, dentists, um, lawyers. The warning for users is that you have no way of knowing what you're getting when both fentanyl and heroin are involved. Bottom line is, every time you do it, it's a gamble. Are you going to come out alive? Or are you going to end up in a body bag? Other solutions the task force is exploring include expanding Coleraine Township's quick response team model and Warren County's use of medication for some inmates. But the biggest challenge still remains finding enough money for treatment. Tom McKean, not on your side, downtown.